Kyle comes out here and he's got no arms, no legs. That man tears it up. He plays really, really well. Um, he's just a great guy. He actually is an inventor, so he actually makes uh, wheelchairs for other people. I will be following three different hard contact sports, football, soccer, and karate. I will also be interviewing the students and coaches of these sports on whether they believe the students and themselves are kept fully informed and safe during the game. Music is a way to unite people together. It gives people the opportunity to bond over the love of a mutual interest they might not have had before. But even more importantly, it provides the outlet for creativity and personal expression. It's, it's an entire life, it's a community, and it's a family. So way more than just hockey. They are the fans you want to hang out with on game day. overall mission is to provide rest, to come alongside families that are impacted by children with disability. I don't want to be negative. It's not good to be negative. If you're negative, then you really are going to pass that on to someone else. My name is Dustin Zerwas, and my son's name is Randall Zerwas, and we have a very unique relationship. Currently, Randy is dealing with brain cancer. He has a unique tumor that has really hasn't been fully determined by doctors what it is. Currently, they have said it's osteosarcoma fibroma, or Randy gets to actually name it. He calls it the osteosarcoma supreme fibroma. Today is August. 4th, 2016, and I am getting a full body scan at All Children's Hospital. My name is Paul Pointer, and I'm the lead pastor at Golfy Grace Church, and I know Randall's father, Dustin. to know uh, Dustin and his wife Natalie and they have also adopted nine children and Randall was one of those kids that we had an opportunity to get to know and really connect with and uh, we really love Randall so much uh, he's just uh, part of the life of our church and everybody knows Randall and everybody's walking with Randall as he's going through this time in his life. Today is August 31, 16 and today I am getting my port, my Iron Man port, from the Iron Man, yeah, and then I'm going to be starting chemo, and at this point, it's, it's going to be a little scary, but I know that God is in control, and He's with me throughout the whole time I am in the hospital. In February of 2016, we took Randy to his doctor because we thought he just had allergies, had a puppy eye, and it turned out that they said he needs to go to Old Children's Hospital. And while he was there, they discovered that he had a tumor growing behind his right eye. So a couple months later, we actually had took him to the surgeon. They did his surgery, and they removed about a baseball-sized tumor out of his head, and about 90% of it was out, but 10% 10 was still behind his nose. So they said we're just going to do some scans a little bit later on to determine kind of what was actually taking place. And then they did a follow-up scan in July and it showed the tumor grew back and the doctor was saying that it was, you know, it was probably going to be cancer. And so we began to have this conversation between my wife and myself and the first thing that she said was, oh no, he's, he's going to die. And so for me, I was just really shocked that, you know, this was actually taking place. I didn't kind of know fully to the extent of how bad it was going to be and the difficulty going forward. I feel hopeful that I will get through with this because of all the support and all the people that are praying for me. Uh, as I reflect on his character, I'm so encouraged by his strength and by his faith. Um, 
One is as I try to place myself in his shoes as a 12-year-old as a boy, um, I don't know if I would be able to handle brain cancer with such grace and with such strength as Randall does. Um, Randall never complains. I've never heard him complain. I've never heard him ask questions as far as even questioning God. Why would God allow something like this to happen? Um, but yet he continues to use his cancer as a way to be an example to others of God's love for us. And it, it blows our mind as we think of how a 12-year-old can be um, so mature and to handle his um, cancer in that way. Randy is a unique person. He's lots of different characteristics about him. That's a good person to stand out. He's really funny and weird at different times. Uh, he's also a very strong individual, um, really wise beyond his years, and has a, a sense about him that what he goes through in life is not going to determine who he is. Some of my hopes and dreams, I would always like to be a singer, but I would always like to do some video game championships and prepare to be the best. I believe there's already a victory um, that even though we're not exactly sure what the next step is for Randall as he's now had third surgery and we're, we're waiting for MRIs and we're waiting for test results to come back to tell us if they've completely eradicated the cancer or not, we don't know. But what we do know is because of our faith, because of Randall's faith, a, a victory has already been won. Well, this past year has been very challenging. My wife and I and our load of kids that we have, it's been very difficult trying to balance time together, especially with going to all these different types of treatments and having to travel and, and have all these different things to help Randy get better. And so the one thing that we always rely on especially during times of just battling back and forth about how he's actually doing is just first of all our faith in God that we know that God's in control he's he's going to be there and kind of we're going to be able to see him through this entire situation and how God can use Randy and our family in this time and it's just been kind of a difficult time at certain points and a lot of times we have to rely on other people family members and especially our church lots of people are saying how can we help out what we can do to to help you guys out and so they've been really supportive um, throughout this entire year. To all the kids who are battling cancer, I would just tell them, hey if I've gone through brain cancer, it won't be as bad as you think. I went through it and got through it really well. Just believe that you can do it. <laughs>